Hi everyone, my name is Bianca and I am from EduBoard Interactive Classroom Solutions and today I will be showing you some of the cool features and functionalities of our Mosabook software. Now when you open up your software, um, it will open on your um, publications page which is already preloaded with some of the books published by um, our Mosabook. So you can simply just select the book and these books will already be preloaded with 3D resources, images and videos that you can now use in your classroom. You can flip the pages as you would in any uh, normal book, it would actually flip the pages for you. So here we've got the small intestine, I've just clicked on the 3D resource and here we've got the anatomy of the small intestine. Consists of three main parts, the foregut, all of the 3D resources are already broken down into various different um, subjects. So we've got the position of the small intestine, we've got our digestive system over there, and you can actually still manipulate all of these 3D resources. So you can rotate it, you can zoom in and out by simply just using your hands on the board. We've got our small intestine over here, and most of the 3D resources in the Mosebook library also has what we call an animation. Now what the animation is, it is basically just a summary of all of your um, subdivisions of that uh, 3D resource, but it also has a narration added to it. So you can actually just um, play this um, video or this 3D resource to your students and they can listen to the um, narration and make notes as well. But what you can also do with most of the 3D resources in the Mosebook software is you can actually go and generate a single selection exercise labeling, gap filling or a matching exercise through this um, 3D resource. So if we click on gap filling, this is the entire text from the narration. You can pick your various different parts that you want to use for that um, exercise. Click on generate and it will automatically generate a filling exercise for you. You know what's nice about the Mosebook software is that you are not only restricted to the books that are in your Mosebook software. So what you can actually do now is if you have any PDF documents or presentations that you already have worked on and that you have been using in your classrooms, you can actually import all of those um, resources that you already have and you can now use it within the Mosebook software, which means that you can now um, load these books or presentations with all of the resources that are in your Mosebook software. So here we have our grade 9 natural sciences um, book that I have downloaded from the internet. Once again, you can flip it as you would with a normal book. There we go. And what the software will then automatically do with your PDFs is if there are images um, in or diagrams within your book, it will already differentiate it between your images and or your text and you'll simply just click on it and it will enlarge it for you. So your students that are sitting at the back of the classroom will still be able to see exactly what you are doing on um, your board. What you can also do is if there is certain areas of the book that you want to enhance or, or make a little bit larger, like for instance this activity that we are going to be focusing on, I can use my two-point selection tool and it will actually zoom in that entire um, section for you. What you can also do is you can pin this either as a small or a large icon, save my book, and it will now automatically be added into your book. So the next time that you have a class and you want to present this as well, you would not need to go through all of the steps of enlarging it. It is already pinned. You'll simply just click on that little icon and your image would pop up right over there. What's nice about the Mosebook software as well is that it has tablet collaboration functionalities. So there's two different ways that you can use this tablet collaboration. You can either use it as classwork where you share all of your um, books or everything that you are doing on your board with your students in class and you also have the homework function. Now the homework fun function works a little bit different from your conventional um, tablet collaboration where your students would not actually need to use the device that they have been using in class. All they'll need to do is, whether it's on their own cell phones, their parents' laptop or anything like that at home, simply log into their Moza web account and they will then be able to access all of the assignments that you have generated for them and in the morning you can just simply evaluate their um, homework assignments. What we can also do apart from just um, you know, importing your 
PDFs or your presentations. You can also create a new exercise book so you can basically start a book from scratch. I want to do a, a double page book with lines in between. I'm going to add a binding option and I actually want my book to look like paper. It will then automatically generate that book for me. We also have various different writing tools here on the side. So for those of us that do not have the best handwriting, we do have the handwriting recognition option as well, where that would simply take your text and transfer it or convert it into any text that you have um, selected or any font. We can also change that afterwards. So I'm going to use my Georgia. I'm going to make it slightly smaller. And we are going to focus on our digestive system. One of the key features of our Mosebook software is our extras. So I'm going to use the recommended extras, which basically will take everything that I have written on my book so far and give me recommended extras that I can incorporate. So this is your 3D resources, videos and images and things like that. So you would not need to go and search for all of these things. So this just makes the entire process of populating your lessons with all of these various different things so much easier and quicker, which will save you time in and out of the classroom. Furthermore, what you can also do within the Mosebook software is you can now also access your browser. So there's no need for you to go out of the Mosebook software. It basically is a one-stop shop. Here we have the Natural History Museum which is situated in the US, and we can actually take a virtual tour of this um, museum, meaning that you are, instead of taking your students to the museum, you are actually bringing the museum to your students in the comfort of the classroom.